Morning! It's another cold early start for us uh, this morning. Well, early for us anyway as beef farmers. We're not talking, it ain't four o'clock, let's face it, but it's just me and Andy. Um, and we're going, well, I'm going to take some cattle in first thing, so Andy's going to be on his own feeding up. Bless him. He'll be on the TM320S first thing. Morning, Andy. Poking things in your hole. Yeah. <laughs> Frozen hole. You <laughs> Frozen hole. I've parked the lorry last night in the cattle shed because these guys in here that you can't, well, the camera pick them up. Mm, just, um, we'll keep this lorry warm so there's no ice on it. Yeah, it says it's minus two, but there isn't a piece of ice on this windscreen, which is great. Right, so I'm loaded and I'm off. Andy's just starting with a TM. He'll get these guys fed. And I'll get back into the yard as soon as I can to give him uh, to give him a hand. Some big bees in uh, Ribbon Farm Services. There's some growers, aren't they? Oh, I'm back into the icy yard a little bit later. I've realised this. I should have called in Ribbon Farm Services because I've got a pair of overalls to get, haven't I? So these are a lot of all got the John Deere overalls. Who hasn't got them? Me. So, um, yeah, anyway, I'll just do it next time. There's Andy, look. He's in his new overalls today, look. Just strawing up. He's been doing it all this morning, feeding round, strawing the lot. Here's to add to the helicopter show. I think it's South Yorkshire Police, that one. Having a look around our local area. It's coffee time, but I've just been on phone to Mr. B, Yorkshire Farmer, and he says, fruit cake like this, yeah, the lovely fruit cake that we got sent to us, are you going to have some cheese with it? I was like, cheese? What? Like, that's a bit weird. But then he suggested that it wasn't weird. Um, so, am I weird not having cheese with my fruit cake? Do you have cheese with fruit cake, basically? Let me know in the comments below. And because I said to him, we will battle it out in the comments of YouTube to find out who is weird. Mr. B for liking cheese with it, or me for not even thinking about having cheese with it. Either way. Mm. Mm. What's that pin dandy? No go, Joe. <sighs> Try it again. <laughs> Oh, we bought a new battery, <laughs> and it's not even that. Uh, I guess you're freezing. <sighs> a nightmare. Getting cold then, Andy, because water pipes freezing up. Mm. Great. And the JCB doesn't blooming work. Apparently, it was minus six this morning. Was it? Mm. Jeez. Okay. Just a bit. So I'm just letting Andy in now. I've got a bit of an issue away from the straw blower. See that round there? That's the front of the gate down there. Like that one. It's bent as well, so we'll have to get on the phone to Teagle and get one of them ordered. And he's just getting this straw put in, in in the outside. We can still use the Teagle. Um, and we've got to use it because it'd be a long job but putting it out by hand. Still working alright. I've just, uh, just ordered another one from Ripper Farm Services, so hopefully it should be coming soon. So this is uh, major annoying. We're going to have to uh, jump start the JCB again to get it going, even though it's got a new battery on it. Looking at reading off battery, we're getting 12.65 volts. The tractor wouldn't start either because I'd left the thing plugged in. Well, at least we've got a jump box now. Good yeah, that was easier than um, having to tow it out of the shed. Come on, let's have you out of here. Come on, you're moving pens, you're going into a different. Not down there, mate. We're shifting these guys in with these other ones. We've got a free pen up there. Oh, I thought we were coming back on me then. And then we're going to um, 
to get a pull some from the other side into there. Got a big wagon full coming um, about dinner time, so we're, uh, we're going to be busy with that, me and Andy. But I think, Andy, they've been wormed and fluked, so uh, the farm that's had them before has done that, so it's going to be quite a fairly easy job for us. We'll just need to check the numbers, weigh them, give them a vaccine, job done. So we've got them going round now. Come on! Come on, get on! Come forward a bit, Mum. And he's just fetching the stragglers. It's alright, it's not, it's not nothing to worry about. Come on. There we go. So they're off, oh, into their new accommodation. Had a slip. Looks all right though, it's fine. Off into their new accommodation now. I'll enjoy it in there. So we've got the JCB started now. God, this is getting painful and weird. 14.4 volts. Um, now it's running, so alternator's working. My opinion. Glow plugs, I don't know. We start getting into things like it's a bit above my uh, above my knowledge. Day gets better, so I thought that Ring Ripper Farm Service have not heard anything about this uh, this part that's supposed to be getting for us. The ram for that um, for that teagle. The price is astronomical. It's out of this world. I think you said 850 quid or something plus VAT, so well over a grand for um, ram. Probably means we'll get it repaired. Um, there is a place just a couple of miles up the road from us that repairs them. Um, but they're not normally cheap either. But um, yeah, I think that's going to be the uh, the only option here. Right, anyway, Andy is doing a mix. We've got some cattle turning up very soon. And um, yeah, we're going to be busy. Add to our list of problems, Andy's had to get the adjustable because there was pressure in the spike so we couldn't get the pipes on oh just this is today so right now we're just putting bales of hay out and he's doing one down the middle i'm gonna just do this one and then we've both got one to do because we've got to open the gate for it so andy's getting the band out of the uh teagle coming out nicely you are steadily. Yeah, we don't want too much on it, so it just gets bunged up. Could be a fire risk. Could get into the bearings. We're still waiting for these cattle to turn up. So what we're going to do is get the mill on for a couple of hours, and then um, at least we're doing something while we're waiting. So there's a lot of cattle's turned up now, just as we've set the mill going. The worst timing. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to drop them off at the end of the tractor and run them into the pen, I think. The plan. But fair beastie wagon like. Carries pigs usually. Weapon. Decided oh, with the icy conditions, we're gonna actually back the um, Back the lorry right up to where we need to be because it's a bit slippy on this floor and the last thing we want is someone getting hurt, just getting off so we're just doing a bit a bit extra and getting them dropped right at the door. Right, he's on his way now. Um, I'll go and get these passports that we've got here and take them uh, in the house, get them put on the computer. Me and Andy can weigh them all and um, record the vaccine and stuff that we're going to give to them all digitally on the computer in the computer program whatever business and everything's ticked off then so we're going to vaccinate these fellas they've all come off one farm they're all mates we'll get them vaccinated and uh, then they're done so andy's just on there clicking their backs and then worming them we're vaccinating them and we're also giving them a tag 
I'll keep them nice and cool, stop them from sweating and getting cold. Right now, Andy is just filling the mixer up. Um, I've got to uh, shift some JCBs around. Andy's going home in a minute because he's going out for something to eat with um, his partner and uh, his auntie and uncle who are up from Devon way on. So I'm going to be feeding up with my mum, I think, in a second. We had it's like there's a crop circle there. Hmm. Wonder what did that? Right, we'll get these boys in their pens. Come on, stop eating all that meal. I'll get you some in a minute. Nice bullocks. There they are. Like them. Come on, fellas. Come on. Nice and steady. In you go. Good lads. Right, time for me to get on the TM320S and do some feeding up, I think. We use the length of the 9 meter boom to act as a big gate uh, run for running cattle round. Um, so I'm just going to put this away now and then all I've got to put away is a TM and Andy can get off for his meal. Um, although he's a little bit late. 10 minutes. I think it'll be alright. He's normally got enough time spare, I think. Hopefully. Andy's off for his meal now, I yeah. think, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Off and get stuff ready and so. get his house tidied and yeah. presentable for his uncle. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> and your uncle's gone to a famous farm today, hasn't he? Yeah. Guess. Have a guess. Where's oh, he yeah. been today? Near here. Yeah, a famous, famous farm he's been to today. Let us know in the comments. See if anybody gets it right. <laughs> right, see you later then, Andy. We'll get on with feeding up now. Of course, as soon as Andy goes home, notice a water trough donor that's I mean, frozen up. So I now I've got the job of unfouring that as well as feeding all these cows. Oh God. Honestly, it wouldn't happen on just like a, a day when literally everybody were here. Um, it just happens when I'm on meal. I've been trying for the last hour to try and get this water running to these cattle. Not happening, um, there's too much pipe exposed and um, yeah, the flow of hot water in flasks, I've just got to get them out of the TM in a minute, it's just, um, yeah, it just, just wasn't working. So what I've done is I've moved the cows, or I've opened the gate so the cows can go in with the straw and then they can drink from another um, pen's water trough. So they've got water, it's just not ideal and we'll have to get it sorted tomorrow um, so that they can stay in their own pen and they're not going to smash the bales to pieces, which they might have a little go at tonight, but I think it's cold enough they'll, they'll not be too bothered. Um, so yeah, tomorrow, big um, arable boys are coming in with their big tractors and big trailers. We're going to do some mucking out, so that should be a fun watch tomorrow. Uh, M's back, Andy's back, and um, yeah, what else we got to say? Oh, remember, Ollie's tractor run. Um, check out his videos. There's a link to the Just Giving um, page there for Alder Hay Children's Hospital. We're doing that on Sunday. So if anybody wants to um, give a small donation to that, that'd be fantastic. And um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Freezing here. Bye.